Hi, I'm Snow, and this is Gas and Go. All right, you guys, welcome to another episode of Gas and Go with Snow. Most of you know if you saw the last video, I'm in Arizona. But what I'm doing in Arizona, I'm doing EV training. And one of the attendants in the EV training is my man Caleb from Foremost EV. All right, first of all, thanks for taking the time to show me this. When I walked in here and I saw this, I was like, wow, right? So tell me, what is the vehicle? What are, what are we looking at, first of all? We've got a 1960 F100. A 60 F100, okay, all right. And then what made you decide to convert the uh, F100 to electric? In general, or versus another vehicle? No, just what, what made you pick this one? Uh, just like, I mean, just scrolling through the market looking okay. for vehicles and you know, popped out. Right. Well, the nostalgia is killing. I love the look. So, all right, well, if you get closer here, so, okay, tell me, tell me about the running gear. What do we have here? We got uh, two Hyper 9 motors and connected to a torque trend torque box. Okay, what kind of power output? There's these dual electric motors, Hyper 9. What kind of output are you getting out of that? It's, uh, it's about 260, 280 horsepower. Okay, and so that would move this guy pretty good then. With that gearbox, we're looking at like 700 foot pounds of torque. There you go, now that's the magic number. Okay, all right. Now, I noticed you got, uh, is this a false plate? I noticed the, the, the carpet and what's under this? Under this, I have uh, my AC pump. Okay, so she's got AC. Over here in the back, I got DC to DC converter mounted underneath. Okay, that takes the place of your alternator. Then I got another charger up here in the front mounted underneath. Okay, so what does the dual chargers do for you? Just allows me to charge the vehicle faster. Okay, so faster charging. About level right, two charge. Now, I've seen a lot of EVs and a lot of conversions, but I've never actually seen a vacuum pump. So what? What? tell me what's going on in this corner here. What's happening there? So basically when you have an ICE vehicle, yeah. your, uh, your brake system is ran off your intake vacuum. Okay. We don't have an intake no more, so we need to run this vacuum pump, store it inside this okay. tank to hold air that then runs into my brake system. Okay. And then what about the fluid there? I see a, a fluid tank. That back there is uh, that's for the power steering. Okay. So you got AC, you got power steering, you have the equivalent of an alternator with the DC to DC converter. Now, how does it feel as far as all the, you know, the necessities that you need in the truck? Everything runs good? I mean, you get a good feel for the vehicle? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, well, hey, let's go uh, check out the inside of this girl. All right. all right, first of all, I want you guys to take note of the pearl. That's it, it just jumped out and grabbed me. I'm loving that, and especially the Mickey Thompson's on there, it looks really good. All right, so if we come inside and check out the interior, this is one of the things that I, when initially I was impressed with. If you didn't know any better, it looks like a nice, you know, re restoration. But can you tell me a little bit about what's going on in here? So, I noticed you got a display here. What is this display? That's, uh, that's the compact display for the controllers for the Hyper 9. Okay. That'll give you uh, engine speed, RPM, miles, uh, and state of charge. Okay, so basically this is the equivalent of your fuel gauge. <laughs> your fuel, that's, a, that's almost as equivalent to your cluster, you know, that'll give yeah. you your, your check engine light, right. your fuel gauge, your okay. speedometer, your odometer. Yeah. Okay, and now, I see you have the original panel here. Now, Speedo is still an analog Speedo? Okay, and then um, what else do you have here? I mean, all of the original knobs, buttons, they control your Wipers. windshield wipers, headlights, all the same. Dude, I like it. And then the old school wheel is killing it, son. The old school wheel is killing it. And I like that what you did inside, it's not understated but it's not flashy and over the top, and it totally fits the truck. And the crushed velvet is killing it. All right, so let's move to the back, because this is one of the most difficult aspects of an EV conversion, and that's designing and building your battery pack. So tell me what you did here, Caleb, because this looks super clean. So we took this, and with the help of Legacy EV, they, uh, they helped design and spec this battery box out. Okay. So we needed 78 kilowatts 
Okay. We were told LFP cells were pretty safe, you know, no fire hazards. Right. So that's what we decided to go with for the first building. Okay. And we threw now, it. 78 kilowatts, what does that get you in this truck? What kind of mileage can you get, range can you get out of 78 kilowatts? 230 to 260. Wow, that's impressive. And with the two chargers, how long does it take you to charge? That's about 11 hours. Okay, from empty to full? Empty to full. Okay, but normally what are you charging at? You know, 50, 60 percent and then yeah. you go charge? Okay, so in that case you're looking at I'll say, assume four or five hours. Okay, all right. And then, now, this doesn't look stock here. I'm looking at the bed. So what do you got going on underneath? Uh, we did parallel four links to a four to nine inch upgraded uh, axle shaft. Um, C notch the frame. It's on full air red right front and back. Okay. Um, ginormous five inch drop shaft. <laughs> a five inch drop shaft. <laughs> all right. So, well, first of all, man, great truck. But do you have any other plans? Any more upgrades? Or are you just going to enjoy it for a little bit? What's the plan? You got to hit the show circuit? Enjoy it for a bit, hit some shows, and, and sell it and move on. So you're not attached to it, huh? No, I spent two months time with it. I'm over it. All right, well, there you go. If you're looking for an EV conversion, something that's already built and ready to go, you can talk to Foremost EV. Call my man Caleb. All right, thanks for taking the time to do this for me. Hey, all right, we'll see you guys next time on Gas and Go with Snow.